sit down. You have to sit down, Richard. Just don't sit down, Richard. Let me sing this. Let me sing this. Before we do welcome. There are some hearts that are heavy this morning. When I think about the little girl who lost her life senseless. And today is Christmas Day. And that mama got to deal with that whole situation. I have stood in cool pits and said this, and I said it to the day I close my mouth and my eyes. Trouble is easy to get in, but it's hard to get out. Young people, I'm, I'm very much aware of what my son is looking at on his phone. But parents, you need to know what your child is saying and what they're doing on these phones. And sometimes we can say stuff on the phone that make people do things that you don't like. I understand that cell phones are good, but their cell phones can be trouble too. So before I go in prayer, I just want to pray for that mother. And you know, dad is okay, but mother loves her children. And I want to say to Ross and all of the family there, but my heart goes out that, that this kid will not be going back to school in the new year. It was just so happened that I know we're online and I want to hear. I was at my job on this week with uh, this funeral home. And lo and behold, they were bringing her body in. And I said to myself, Lord, how would I respond? If it had been my child. And we sit around and we go along with a whole lot of foolishness. A whole lot of mess. This is all we got. These are ours. These are ours. And my heart goes out. Because this is, we are living on a time now. If ever we needed the Lord before, we show sure need him now. You can't blame the mayor. You can't blame the police officers. These guns don't get in folks' hand just to get in their hand. I don't care how many guns you take up in January for Dr. King, bye bye. They're gonna give you one, but they got five more in the car. You can't get back. <coughs> And now that I've got so bold, even when I go get my hair cut, they want to wear their guns on the side. They want you to see what they got. And I told my mama, if you want me to keep coming back to get a haircut, you're going to have to tell them. They need to find somewhere else to go. Because somebody can say something in that barbershop can trigger them off. And guns with stuff, bullets start flying everywhere. And I can't run no more. My knees are bad. I can't run. God be the glory that we, we pray for our children. Because this is a perilous time in which we live. I want to read a passage of scripture that you want to go with me. It's fine. But I, I hope this mother is listening and looking at this. It is a simple passage of scripture. It is as simple as the 23rd Psalm. And David said, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He made me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still forms. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley, the shadows of death, I will feel no evil. For thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou prepare the table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointed my head with oil. 
my cup on the floor. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me. Not someday, but all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. The word of God for the people of God. Bless me the name of the Lord. Will you bow your heads? I must tell Jesus all about my troubles. I cannot bear these burdens alone. For in my distress, he kindly will help me. Jesus can help me. Jesus alone. Eternal God, our Father, we come on this Christmas day. First of all, we want to take the time and say thank you for bringing us from the beginning of this year up until this present moment. And as we come, we come to lift your name because your name is above every name. And you said at that name, every knee got to bow. And every tongue will confess. So we come this morning with thanksgiving in our hearts and praises on our lips to say thank you, God, for this day. Thank you for sending your son. Thank you for your son giving his life that we might have a right to the truth of life. As we come with this morning, God, we ask our blessings upon this mother who had to say goodbye to her daughter. Many of us have gone. We pray for the McCrane's family also. We pray, oh God, that you give them strength. Now, Lord, now, Lord, I want to thank you for bringing me this far. For you, you've been mighty good to me. You've been better to me than I've been to my own self.
Amen, Reverend Lumpkin, and all we pray for you for your speedy recovery. Glad to have my brother here with us today. Thank you for coming. Say, glad to have you. Glad to see so many of you here. Amen. So now you know how to have church on a holiday, don't you? Amen. You know how to get in the house, don't you? God's been too good to us for us to sit at home. Amen. Anybody here know God's been good to let me see your hand. If God blesses you, you've been blessed. Glad to have my son home from Hawaii. Disappointed Amen. because I was ready to go back over there. Now you don't came over there. Like, yeah. so, but God bless you to be back in this time. God bless all of you. At this time, we're not going to be long. That will be a play of drama that will be given. Also, that will be uh, our tithes and our offering will be taken up. That will be a message, a word. And then you will be able to fellowship and go home with your family. But don't let nothing come before giving God some praise. The food and nothing that don't let nothing and nobody stop you from giving God praise. I'm reminded of that song that says, This morning when I wrote, I didn't have no doubt. He said, I knew the Lord would take care of me. I knew the Lord would provide for me. I knew that the Lord would lead and guide me, not part of the way, but all the way. So, God, thank you for this day. Now, let me out. Uh, Set the house in order. Uh, yeah. Some of you didn't bless Pastor last Sunday. He still didn't bless today. This is it's Christmas. And when you come around, it's more blessed to give than to receive. God bless you. Uh, the choir will do it. Let me also say to the parents, thank you for allowing your children to put their toys down for a while and come to church. The choir as well so as the ushers. Thank you. You look good. God be God. So the Sanders, I guess I'll tell you. Jeff, come on, let's sing now. Let's give them a great big hand if they come.
Let's give them another big, big hand. Them out there. Come on. Come on, give them another big, big hand. God, give the glory. Prepare now for the kids to get ready for the play. As we prepare for our tithe and our offering, if you need a tithe in, don't raise your hand. The ushers will gladly get one too. I ask our trustees to come down this way.
And we pray, O oh God, that in the use of the glory of name, these are other blessings we ask in that name. Amen.
You ain't the only one that has some hard times. And you won't be the last one to have some hard times. And every now and then, every last one of you and those that are listening on now, you ought to press your way to church sometime. Don't be running around here and say that I belong to First Baptist and I don't even know your name. A shepherd knows his sheep. So you ought to come to church. So I'm starting next Sunday. Full force. If you don't pay some tithes, well, you don't know what's in my pocket. I don't want to know what's in your pocket. I can tell you ain't broke. <laughs> so then I'm gonna leave it right there. I can tell you ain't broke. You ain't broke. You just don't want to give God your money, but God know how to get His money out of you. He'll cut the machine. He'll make the frigidaire go down. He'll make the wash and dry come out. I know I'm on that, but it is what it is. Harry, when, he, when, these, when these concerts come to town, I was near Mata was just looking at it. I'm going to see a Patty LaBelle ticket started at $190. Ooh, Jesus, but I'm going. Is it? Is it? So I'm telling you now, stop playing church. I'm ready to pay this burden as long as on this church and move up to other things. You wrap around the corner before we can burn this mortgage. Let's start paying our tithes. And we're gonna be when we burn this mortgage. I'm gonna say it's, it's time to go. But until then, I'm gonna hang in there till he allowed me to build it, and I pray that he allowed me to pay for it. And you can pay for it. You got the money. You got the money. And I know you got the money. But I know you ain't got it, but you can get it done. Amen. So I, think, I thought I'd just let, let you hang in for a minute because there's too many people. There's too many people playing games now. And when church, do y'all not know that the enemy is busy? The devil is going to and fro. And time is why not to play church. We need to get in church. We need to give God some praise. Mm -hmm. And so we're going to do that. Just since the kids are getting dressed, I'm going to take my text. And as we take our text, we'll let the kids do their little play and we'll be ready to go home. God, our Father, we thank you for this opportunity. God, is now that you speak to us. Bless us. Keep us holy. I want you to take time to just think of just how God has been good to you all this year. And what He has done, He's made a way for you out of your way. And in spite of what you've been dealing with, God still blessing you and keeping you. I want you to think just for a few moments, not, not a whole lot of things, but just a few things God has done for you. That could nobody ever have done it but the Lord. Listen.
gift on the inside, the outside is more important. Because the bow that we use to tie the present, it just ties Christians to Jesus with love. We may not be in the same family, but we are all in the family of God. And together, he binds us. Because Jesus is the reason for the season. Now the wise men brought gifts to Jesus because they recognized that Jesus was a king. Now the gifts that they brought was befitting a king that they knew would lay down his life for us that were sinners. He would die for the sins of the world. So they bowed down and worshipped him and opened their treasures and gave him gifts. So our play today is Christmas symbolism of gifts to the king. Mary Joseph. Um.
brought to the world to give light to them, to give light to them that sit in darkness and the shadow of death, to guide our feet into the way of peace, Luke 1, 79. Represent the blood that Christ shed for us. So this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for many remission of sin. Matthew 26, verse 28. Amen. And she brought for her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room in the room. The soldiers have made a crown of thorns and put it on his head. Mm. John chapter 19, verse 2. Mm. <laughs> Christmas bells represent the call of mankind to worship the Lord. For the Son of Man came to save which was lost. attention and this ends the gift that they brought to Jesus the king we send you to get up and give the the of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Come on, give them the of the Lord. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Thank you for allowing your children to be a part of this drama. Amen. Give me one more count. John 3, 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but shall have everlasting life. But I want to go deeper today in knowing that sometimes holidays can be some enjoyable days, and sometimes holidays can be some sad moments. And I just want to carry you to a passage of scripture that is found in Psalms, written by David, a man after God's own heart. It's found in Psalms 34, verses 1. And the psalmist says, I will bless the Lord. You heard it. It all sounds. And his praise shall continually be in my mouth. I want to talk about you can praise your way through anything. You can praise your way through anything. 
realm, how can I praise the Lord when my heart is heavy? Praise him in high. We've heard the old saying that when praises go up, blessings come down. This is why David himself was known as one that gave God praise. Because David found himself many times in some bad situations. And when he found himself in bad situations, he had no one to turn to but the Lord. I want to help somebody in here today that when you find yourself all alone, and you have nobody you can talk to, there is an old song that says, Jesus is on the main line. And if don't nobody else can call him, you can call him up and tell him what you want. That will put it in this way. He's an on time God. Yes, he is. And let me share this with you. When you praise him, he ain't going to let you keep on crying. And you don't, he don't come see about you. That's why David said, I will bless the Lord. Because when David found himself, they were in battle. And when they found himself in battle, when they came back to the camp, all the wives and children were gone. And the soldiers got upset with David. Say, David, you, you put us in this predicament. We're in bad shape. And David fell all alone. But David had to steal away. And when he stealed away, he had to encourage himself. Can I help somebody in here? Ever now and then, if don't nobody else pat you on the shoulder, you ought to be able to pat your own self on the back and tell yourself, I'm going to get up out of this situation. I heard you, Ross. Trouble don't ask. But you know what? I used to hate when trouble comes. But now I can deal with trouble now. Because I do know trouble don't last always. David told me to tell you, weeping may endure for a night. I didn't hear you. I didn't hear you. I didn't hear you. But joy will come in the moment. Well, Reverend, where is in the moment right now? So he told me to tell you, if you hang in there, if you hang in there, I, I know, I know you want to throw up your head and say, I'm tired. I'm going through too much. But I'm so glad I'm finna close. He knows just how much. You can bet. And he won't put no more on you than you can bet. And every now and then he it's us. Because we can talk a good game. But when trouble comes, can we still hang in there? So David said, I will bless the Lord. Not sometime, but all time. And that part right there, and his praise. Let, 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 let me tell you about that right there, that praise. You can praise your way through anything. You, you, you know, have you ever been walking or driving and you begin to hear a song and that song gets all on you and everything that looks like you want to turn the steering wheel loose. And just throw your hands up and say, Lord, I thank you. Because every now and then, all of us got a back. We can look back and see where we were. And to see where we are right now. And that's why I'm so glad back in the day when me and Weezy were saying, I can see so much what the Lord has done for me. So as I close this message on this Christmas day, be encouraged. Give God some praise. If you got to do it all by 
by yourself. Praise in a house. Praise is what I do when I don't know what to do. So I will bless the Lord at all times, and his praise shall continuously be in my mouth. You ought to have a praise on your lip every time you come in here. You ought to come up in here giving God praise. Like the girls over there. I'm glad to be in the service. One more time. Some of us have had to deal with some loss of some loved ones this year. Some of us have gone through some tough times this year. But I want to tell you. You can still praise your way through. Yes, yes, yes. Tell the Lord. He knows what you're going through. So as we in this Christmas day give God his praise. Give God his praise. It ain't about you. It ain't about Santa Claus. It's all about you. And this is why we are here today. Because he has done great things for us. Amen. Will you bow your heads? There may be one who will come to Christ today. God, our Father, once again, we want to thank you for this blessed day. December 25th, we thank you. We thank you for your son who came over 2,000 years ago, born in a manger, wrapped in swaddling clothes, came to save a wretch like me. So now we give you the praise, the honor, and the glory of God. But he's not a baby anymore. The Bible says he sits in the right hand of the Father, interceding for you and for me. So we thank you, Lord, for his death, burial, but most of all, his resurrection. Bless us now as we leave this place, but not from your presence. And we'll be kept and give you the praise. It's in your name we pray. Amen. The door is open. Y'all know you can come. We invite you to come. If you don't have a church home, we'd love to have you over here with us. As we come to a close.